Hi, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Krista, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's problem as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from lesson one of the biochemistry one module. Be sure to pause the video, try the problem out for yourself before listening to my explanation. So let's remind ourselves what the four levels of protein structure are. First, we have the primary structure, which is represented by a straight chain because it's going to be composed of just the individual peptide bonds that are holding individual amino acids together. Next is the secondary structure, which you probably know from the alpha helices and the beta pleated sheets. These structures are formed because of the hydrogen bonding between the amino acids in the backbone. Then we have the tertiary structure, which is basically the 3D arrangement of the entire molecule. The interactions that make the tertiary structure is going to be disulfide bridges. This is going to be hydrogen bonding, hydrophobic interactions, dipole-dipole, ionic bonding. And these interactions can also be seen in the quaternary, quaternary structure of the protein. So let's go through each of the answer choices and see how each of them would denature a protein. So changing the pH of a protein's environment is going to be either adding or subtracting hydrogen ions. This is going to affect the R chain's charge. So the ionic bonds that are existing within the protein structure are going to break. So changing the pH denatures the tertiary and the quaternary structures. So let's look at adding heat. When we add heat, we're adding energy to the molecule. The molecule is literally gonna shake a bunch and it's gonna break the bonds that are weaker, such as hydrogen bonds, hydrophobic interactions, ionic bonds. However, it's not going to affect the peptide bonds. So adding heat denatures everything except for the primary structure. Then we have digestive enzymes. Enzymes are going to lower the activation energy needed to break apart strong bonds. So that peptide bond that is holding together that primary structure can be denatured with the presence of digestive enzymes. And last but not least, we have chemical solvents. Chemical solvents are going to affect the hydrogen bonding. So chemical solvents are going to denature secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structures. So after this entire review, we can easily deduce that answer choice C, digestive enzymes, is the only way to de denature the protein all the way to its primary structure. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, give us a follow and go check out MCATselfprep.com for more tips, tricks, and resources on how to ace your MCAT.